Oh, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, for real. How's your summer been going? Uh, it's just been a lot of, a lot of grinding, rehabbing, learning, learning new stuff. You know, meeting new people, just soaking up everything. Where are you at now with, with your health? I mean, are you gonna be able to start training camp? Uh, hopefully, we're seeing how the how the process goes. Still, you know, still taking it day by day. You know, these people got a lot of a lot of time, a lot of money invested in you. They don't want, <laughs> they don't want to mess up what they got going. But um, I'm thankful for the trainers and the coaches. Like I said, just taking it day by day. So you haven't been clear for five and five yet. No. Okay. No, I just been rehabbing, working out on my own, working at the things my body needs to get better at before they throw me out. I'm not prepared. So what what are those things specifically? Is that just um strengthening places I need to strengthen. Obviously my knee, you know. Uh, yeah. Obviously knowing knowing what's going on out there on the court, knowing the calls and everything before you just throw me in, before he throws me in a five on five game. And uh, he's been teaching me. Actually, excellently. Uh, the past couple days, uh, just basically jamming in all the calls, all the play names, all the uh, nicknames for for things, you know. So uh, it's just been a great, great perspective, great, great opportunity. So is that working with Brad Stevens? Yeah, yeah. All the coaches, all the yeah. coaches, but Brad. Um, Brad is definitely hands-on. He's uh, one of the most hands-on coaches I've, I've ever worked with. Uh, he actually conditioned with me on a bike today. That's kind of funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's always hands-on. Uh, ask him directly. If you have a question for him, uh, his office is always open for us, basketball and off the court. What off the they, court stuff. I'm sorry, what did they diagnose for me? What was the injury? Was it bone bruise or what, what was it that happened to your knee? No, nah, no, nah, not bone bruise. That's a just a case of tendonitis, you know, that we we been treated carefully, uh, is what I what our concern was, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, it's been it's been coming good so far. I've been working working hard to get back to where, where I've been, where I was at. Brad said that you've been in Boston for a little while. What have you been working on in Boston with the with the coaching staff while you've been here? Um, everything, uh, weight wise, uh, on the court, working on even becoming a better man. You know, uh, everything. The coaches are like I said, their hands are on and off the court, but on the court, just um, stuff like getting out of screens faster. You know, uh, knowing calls. You know, if I'm icing. Get down right away. Just, just put me up to speed for I guess when training camp does start to roll in, so I'm not fresh and I know what's going on. Have any of your teammates been here working out with you and kind of helping you get ready for the NBA? Uh, yeah, they've been around, not working out with me, but just uh, oh, I thought you said it me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> not working out with me, but just uh, encouragement and and advice. Uh, JT, Jalen Brown. Uh, Baines, Horford, uh, even rookies that came in with me uh, for training camp. Um, just a lot, of, a lot of encouragement. Just letting me know that uh, it may be a slow process back, but um, they got my back. What's really stuck with you about that message that they've been trying to preach to you? Um, it, it is, it is a, it is a process, and you have to go through the the, the boring days, as people call them. You have to go through. You have to go through everything that you wouldn't expect to go through to get where you want to be. So me being here, you know, injuries happen to everyone. It's just a minor setback, uh, as my dad would call it. But just giving it 100%, let me know uh, every day. You give it 100%, you closer and closer to being back on the court. So just uh, being myself, giving it everything, just buying in is what stuff with me the most. What have you been doing in Boston? I mean, you're, you're, this is your first time being away, this far away from home for this extended period of time. You can't work out and rehab every single hour of the day. So what, what are you doing in those down, down times? Uh, I listen to music. Uh, I've been playing 2K, but uh, 2K18, but I think 19 about to come out in a little bit. <laughs> you see the yet? Nah, I ain't see it yet. I ain't get to see it. Uh, <laughs> but most most of all, just music and uh, just FaceTime with friends. You know, that's all you can do. Uh, I drove downtown like two days ago and just tried to get lost just so I could figure out what was around Boston. It was easy I, getting lost, I, wasn't it? Yeah, I literally <laughs> got lost. I ended up in, in Chinatown or something. <laughs> 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 you motivated. You 
rookie year, given some of the things that happened early, just to put, to, to kind of have a positive, productive year. I mean, and just show everybody who you are if they don't know. Yeah, yeah. I started off with a, a bad slate, missing, missing fights, you know, losing wallets more than once. But um, it's 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 a it's a new it's a new place. It's a new era. It's a new it's a new state. You know, I have a chance to prove to everyone out here as I see their fans that I, I am the trustworthy, reliable, account, accountable guy, you know. They're not out here screaming, where's your wallet? You know? <laughs> they support me, you know, it's, it, it's love, you know. That's that's the thing I picked up on the most about Boston. It's more of a it's more of a family encounter area than it is anything else. So I feel like uh, the love and support from everyone just help me be on the right track. Help me want to prove to you why I am what you think I am. Why, I am, why you are holding me at such a such a high, high pedestal, a high level. Because at this level you are, and you have to live up to it. I know you're only 20, but does working with these kids make you feel like a kind of an old guy? Or when you're when you're working with kids and they're just looking up to you, and they just kind of see you as like, wow, they're wowing. And then... <laughs> they just come up to you smiling from ear to ear, man. It's crazy. I asked one kid. Why are you smiling so hard? You about to make me smile. <laughs> He's like, you're Robert Williams. I'm, it's just it's just a blessing, man. Because like I said, where we came from, you don't see community getting together like this. You don't see courts being built in backyards and stuff like this. So just seeing this was a, was a great atmosphere. It was already a blessing seeing the people when I pulled up, seeing the crowd. But um, just knowing that they know who I am as far as not even the adults, but like you said, all the way down to the kids. You know, it's just... It's unbelievable, it's crazy. Sometimes I still can't believe it as I'm talking about it, but like I said, it's the biggest blessing. You chose an apartment right next to the practice facility. What what convinced you to live over there? Uh, the apartment was nice and it's two, <laughs> two three minute walk, man. You <laughs> might as well, no reason not to. I don't think I've drove to a workout yet. I think I walked to all my workouts, literally three minute walk. That's Easy enough. <laughs> Was that a hard? I mean, did they have to sell you on that idea, or you you were sold on being close to practice? You said. Oh no, no one had to sell me. On it. Yeah, that was that was totally my decision. It may have been some encouragement, but <laughs> it was my decision. What kind of conversations have you had with Al? Have you had a chance to kind of break bread with him a little bit? Uh, not that much. One thing he uh he he, he told me was just consistency. Yeah. I feel like that's the biggest thing with Al. And uh, not even from talking to him, I, uh, just watching him. You yeah. know, just watching every morning I can get up and go in, you know, during the summer, I'm going in at 8, 8.30. Al and Baines been in since 6. You know, yeah. they, they, they work out day is ending. So, and just seeing that, that exact same repetition, that same consistency every day, uh, I say I learned a lot from them already. Obviously, you haven't even started training camp yet, but have you given some thought to you know the depth that's going to be on this team and kind of how you know you fit into that role? Man, I'm just ready to, ready to have fun with my team, man. We we do have a lot of depth on our team, but uh, it all look good on paper. We, we got to go in and work. Any other questions? Thanks a lot, man. Oh, thanks, Rob.